Hi there, my fellow Java programmer. This episode is the last part of the Java 8 stream series, and you'll learn what parallel streams are and when and how to use them. So let's get started. Back in the POTUS test class, go to the bottom and create a new test method. Call it something like parallel streams. Then copy the trump line. And again, you want to go trump get wives then dot stream, like you did before. This time you want to filter, say every wife, and you want to only include wives whose name starts with an uppercase M. Then you want to go find any. So any wife with an M is fine. And if there is such a wife, then do a system out print on of the wife's name. So far, nothing too exciting. Run the test method, see what happens. You get Melania back, and just to double check, if you're unsure about Donald Trump's wives, up here you have the list, and there's Melania, there's Marla, there's Ivana, three wives, and finally just returned you the first item of the list or of the stream. Now, let's scroll down again. And instead of dot .stream, simply call dot .parallel stream. What happens? Now Java will take that list or that stream later on and divide it into multiple substreams. So there will be a substream, that could be a substream, that could be a substream, a stream. And then Java is going to work on these streams in parallel. How does that work? There's a thread pool that has the number of threads, I think, is the number of your CPUs minus one. And instead of working on the stream sequentially, all the threads will work in parallel on the stream and return you a result. So when you scroll down again, let's execute the test again and see what happens. And now this time you get Marla back, because this time it looks like that another thread that worked on Marla returned first. And you can see that find any really means find any, not always find first like it does sequentially most of the time. Now, does that mean you should go crazy and use parallel stream all the time? Actually, it doesn't. By default, good advice is to just use dot stream, use a sequential stream. If you have a huge stream, like tens of thousands of items, then you, what you might want to do is you might want to measure, first of all, you have a performance problem and you want to measure that using a parallel stream could make things faster or simpler because working on things in parallel also has costs included. And only then, once you come to the conclusion that a parallel stream makes sense, then use a parallel stream. But in any case, it's good to know how that works. Now, when you scroll up again, and remember last episode, there was the reduce method, and the reduce method had a last argument, the combiner argument, and I said it had to do something with parallel streams. Now, exercise time. Think about what that combiner function is. Again, let's quickly go through it. You have the reduce function. You simply want to get all of Trump's children. You start with zero. Then you have an accumulator function that simply goes, well, take the sum or zero from the beginning and then simply add each wife's children to that sum which should be fine, but then what does sum1 plus sum2 do? And more specifically, what are sum1 and sum2? Think about the solution and then just write a comment with your solution in the comment section or shoot me an email. Congratulations, by now you should know your way around Java 8 streams. And it's time for you to learn even more Java 8 concepts like the date handling in the next episodes. So let's get right after it.